Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November empties. I'm finally getting around to filming it. I had a lot of great stuff to go up the first couple days of December. So now we are getting into empties finally. But I do have so much to show you guys. <laughs> like so much so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started because i have a feeling this video will be a little bit longer so let's start off with some candles so if you don't already watch my project wax video i highly suggest checking that out because i go over all of these candles in that video but i will go over them again um so the first one here is harvest bake shop from homeworks um not my favorite candle it was very it was gingerbread molasses buttercream pumpkin um very cloying and heavy um but it burned really well slightly sooty i would say but like super sugary and bakery i liked it but i definitely would not repurchase it speaking of homeworks i finished off a farm stand pumpkin now this one i would definitely get again for next year it is pumpkin puree nutmeg cinnamon stick and tonka bean it started to get a little icky near the end but that's kind of to be expected that's what happens with most candles anyways because they're nearing the end of their life but yeah farm stand pumpkin was awesome great thrower i will definitely be getting it again for next fall i finished off a harvest gathering this is a staple thanksgiving scent this is last year's packaging um but amazing amazing scent fresh picked apples autumn berries and clove buds just like the perfect november thanksgiving scent i also finished off pumpkin pecan waffles again the perfect fall scent this was amazing strong thrower you guys know pumpkin pecan waffles is that girl highly recommend picking it up if you see it at sas for 75 percent off totally worth it and then i did finish two single wicks the first is spooky cider lane in this year's halloween packaging great amazing scent i definitely want to get this in the three wick next year this was my first year to actually try it and it was awesome it's like this wonderful candy apple scent it was so yummy so love that one and then I also finished off the Eucalyptus Spearmint Stress Relief Candle. I like this one for the bedroom. It's a great thrower. Honestly, <laughs> throws really well for a single wick, so definitely will be repurchasing this one. I might redeem a coupon soon, actually, for this one. The last candle that I finished off is this little one from Target. This is the Pumpkin Woods candle from the Threshold Collection. It was $5. It was super cute. I just burned it on my bedside table. It was a little single wick. It was actually kind of strong for a single look. It kind of reminds me of White Pumpkin from Bath & Body Works, but it was really nice. I just thought this packaging was super cute. I'm definitely gonna save this to be a jar to use next year for whatever I want. I just thought it was so cute and definitely worth the $5 to be able to keep this little jar for years to come, so. Okay, let's go through some Scentsy Wax. So I finished off Candied Cranberry Pecan. This one was really yummy, very um, gourmand. This cranberry scent is like, it's super strong on this one like kind of smells like cranberry juice but mixed with some bakery notes like some caramel really good scent i liked that one a lot in the kitchen i finished off cozy chai oh this one i really really loved it was like the perfect end to fall oh my gosh wonderful cozy chai scent definitely has all of those great spices in it this one was super super strong too finished off ghostly greetings from halloween this one's just like a really fun i mean now i think it's a halloween scent but like honestly could be year round because it's got that like musk to it so this one was really nice i liked this one actually in the bedroom and finished off cookies for santa actually i think my mom finished this off and i took it home from her house um I changed out her wax for her at Thanksgiving and put in this one. Such a great scent. It's just like the perfect just baked cookie scent. I absolutely adore it. And I did finish off two other bricks. So this is the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Bean and Pumpkin. This was the cutest packaging they came out with this year. Um, literally in the shape of a pumpkin. So adorable. This one was a really nice vanilla pumpkin scent. Just great for fall. And then I finished off the Kringle Candle November scent in the bedroom and this one actually was really nice it kind of also has that like cologne aspect to it which makes it really nice and fresh for the bath the bedroom um so yeah really enjoyed that one i finished two hand soaps the first is white pumpkin i love this one 
um, just a perfect nice fall scent and then autumn s'mores which i don't know how i felt about this one because it's apple and then marshmallow so i don't know it didn't smell like a s'more to me it smelled more like a caramel apple than anything to me so i don't know it was kind of weird not what i expected but it still was good i enjoyed it but i will not be picking it up again that was so weird i finished off a random strawberry pound cake pocket back i'm just trying to get um finished up all the ones that i have like currently in use so that i don't have like any half empty ones and then i finished off three wallflower bulbs this is the glade airwick one in hibiscus pineapple i think is what it is that one is fine i just leave those in the bathroom because they're cheap and stuff and I don't want a Bath and Body Works one in the bathroom because it's like way too strong. Um, I also finished off this Bath and Body Works one. This one was Pumpkin Clove downstairs in the front room. Um, I love this one. I like to put something bakery like right when you walk in to really greet the season. So that was Pumpkin Clove. And then this one, I think this one was Sweet Whiskey in the bathroom. I want to say Sweet Whiskey. It's like some sort of masculine body care scent and i replaced it with twisted peppermint which is actually already almost out because i replaced that at the beginning of the month i have one little mini hair care item this is the sol de janeiro milky leave-in conditioner i got this as a freebie from sephora um when i did an online order from them i loved it because it smells just like their bum bum cream it smells amazing and i do think it actually did help my hair become softer so that was really nice i enjoyed that one i finished off a ton of skincare so first off we have the flamingo ingrown spot treatment um this is very expensive for how little it is i don't think i would get it again um it kind of works but i'll show you i found an alternative on amazon that's way better this is the bikini zone medicated after shave cream with lidocaine in it oh my god this stuff is so good if you get bumps after shaving, especially down there or like your armpits, I get those all the time and I hate it so much. So definitely recommend this. It was on Amazon for like $8 or something. Totally worth it. That Flamingo one, I think is like 15 at Target. So I will be purchasing Bikini Zone from now on. Speaking of shave gels, I have the Harry's Shave Cream that Ryan finished off. I think he liked it. I don't think he didn't like it. I finished off the Mary Kay Clear Proof Acne Prone Moisturizer. Ryan mainly uses this one, um, so I guess he finished that one off. And then we both finished off the Clear Proof Cleanser. This one is really nice. I use it primarily at nighttime because it's foaming and it really gets all the makeup off too. Um, I also finished off the Pixi Glow Tonic Cleanser. I love this stuff. I think I will definitely repurchase it. I actually have the retinol jasmine one that I'm using right now also from Pixi, and I use that one in the morning. So when that runs out, I'm definitely gonna repurchase the glow tonic one because I think it really did help my skin kind of glow a little more. And then Ryan finished off the Peach and Lily Good Acids Pore Toner. This did absolutely nothing for him. It was like a blue liquid in this bottle, but yeah, I really did not do anything. I think I'm gonna get him the Paula's Choice um, toner because that one has worked before for him. This one really didn't do much. Okay, and the last two things are two makeup items. I finished off the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. I got this as a Christmas present last Christmas, and I just finished it off in November. This stuff is so freaking good. I'm using, um, it came in a set. I'm using the other one that's like a light pink. Um, this one was clear. This is the shade, oh, it doesn't have a shade, but this was the clear one. Um, totally recommend this if you want something just to like put on throughout the day. This was a really nice lip balm. I absolutely adored it and it lasted me a year and I probably put it on every single day before I did my makeup. So that lasted a long time. And then the Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. Seriously love this stuff. I will continue to repurchase it. I actually accidentally bought the matte one. Um, not accidentally, but they were sold out of this one at HEV <laughs> at the grocery store where I bought it. And I'm not liking the matte one. So once that runs out, I'm going to go back to my original. But yeah, this is a great staple for making your makeup last all day. And with that, that is everything for this video. So it really wasn't that long. I did pretty good. Um, let me know down below what is your favorite Christmas scent that you're burning now. Now that we're like fully into December, what is your favorite scent? Right now I have behind me peppermint marshmallow. I think I'm going to light it up 
after I finish this video because we are nearing the nighttime and I want to have something relaxing going. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!